Failure is so important to have in your life. A lot of people like to reject it or see it as this big demon in their lives that, oh, I've failed, it's over. But that's just, it's just not true. It's just not true at all. Uh, to fuck up on something that you're working towards is so important, which sounds a little weird, right? Like I sound like a masochist or something, you know, but it's true. To fuck up on something that's so important to you means you now have an example of what not to do. You now have, you've learned. From failure, you learn. And when you stand up and push forward, you'll be able to go farther than last time because you've learned from that mistake. Every human being fails. That's like one of the biggest parts of being a human. Whoa, what the fuck just happened? Why did my fucking sensitivity just go crazy? So many people let failure consume and define them but it doesn't have to be the end of your story. It's a stepping stone towards something greater in your life. Don't be so fearful to fail that you don't even try. I feel like in that case, failure actually is debilitating. It is awful to fail in that sense because if you're too fearful to even try, that failure becomes lifelong regret. That's true failure. And I know for a fact, because I have YouTube analytics, baby. I know your guys' age. And I know for a fact that every human being watching this video and listening to my words is young enough to get up and try again. Failure is such like an integral part to the human experience that it hurts my soul when I hear that someone has just completely given up on something, especially something that they've been talking about and dreaming about for such a long time. I've had friends and even for me, myself, I've had pursuits that have connected with me so deeply, but I just completely gave up on them because they weren't working the way I hoped just because I had failed, which like is going to happen no matter what. Like that's just how it works. I know it sucks because I think a big thing with the internet is like you know, a negative side effect of the internet is um, we see so many success stories, man. It's like absurd how many success stories we see when we don't see the failures. We never see the failures. And um, a man could have tried a hundred times to start a business and failed nine times. And on his 10th try, he does really well. And then he makes one TikTok about it. And all of a sudden, everyone thinks he's an overnight success. And he doesn't talk about his failures. He doesn't talk. He just talks about how much of a G he is. And then he sells you his course. It's a very toxic space in like this success loop that people seem to think that failure just doesn't exist for, you know, for, for the real, for the real men out there who succeed. Like, no, dude, like those people are such anomalies. Like if someone is to truly win on the first try, that is such an anomaly. Not only is it an anomaly, it's also extremely unhealthy because I have, I've had ventures where I won on the first, you know, go around or in school, uh, you know, being in high school when things are easy and on the first go around, you just like get it first try and it creates this kind of like almost vicious cycle of like this kind of undeserved ego. It creates this ego where you think you are indestructible, where failure keeps you humble and actually teaches you something to truly succeed on the first try. I don't even I wouldn't even completely call that success because I feel like most people or maybe not most people, but people who truly just want to make money out of the um, they just want to make money, not not for money, but to be free or, you know, to spend more time with family members. Because, oh, if I make it and if I get rich, I'll have more time and I'll be able to spend more quality time with the people that matter most to me. But if you succeed on the first try, I feel like you're just going to kind of be a dick. Like you're not truly going to understand the gravity of what you've accomplished. Failure delays this gratification and makes that success so much more worth it. And right before I get into some personal stories on failure, because... Holy shit, have I failed in my life. Like, let me tell you, I have failed so much in my life. It's 
It's absurd. I just really wanted to... I'm glowing right now. I'm a little light bulb. I wanted to just take a second and I wanted to say thank you to everybody. I hit a thousand subscribers on this channel, which is just absurd. I never thought that would happen. This is kind of like a journal or a diary entry for me. Kind of acts as a little therapy agent. And I did not expect that at all. I'm not doing this channel for the subs. I just kind of did this to maybe connect with people and to hopefully, you know, brighten up someone's day. And because, you know, I'm not exactly a man who's well traveled and has the deepest experience with all these things that I'm talking about. But I thought this could be a place where it's kind of like a friend communicating to you. You know, it's not like an, a, a professional or very experienced person it's you're hanging out with a friend and this friend is communicating like this is my experience you know like brotherly advice and i really i really appreciate the thousand subscribers and the comments have been so they've been so beautiful and they've been so vulnerable and i've i've loved responding to them i'm almost caught up with responding to everybody i kind of want to make that a thing i don't give a i don't give a damn how many subs i have i will at least like and favorite every single goddamn comment and for future videos if you have suggestions for topics please i'm gonna make a pinned comment on all my future videos i want you guys to tell me what to talk about because i would like to give some of you you know maybe some of that brotherly advice but okay moving on i have failed i have failed so much in my life in every aspect man in every aspect i I have a journal entry for this on my failures. I've failed in school. I've failed with women. I've failed with the treatment of others. I have failed in the treatment of myself, which I mean, still to this day, I, I, I fail on a daily basis. Um, I failed in many, many social situations. I've failed on dealing with no friends and dealing with my anxiety. I've failed on my morals. I've just, I've, you know, where I, I, I have a set moral system and I compromise on them. And, you know, back in the day, I, I feel like I didn't really have too much of a moral system. So that itself was a failure and, you know, not really giving myself the time to just sit down and, and craft that for myself. You know, I <laughs> something about me is I have had a very interesting financial life um, and I've had so many financial failures i've had so many business failures and every single one of them have made me more humble they've made me appreciate life more they've made me more in the moment and also more calculated with my moves not in a bad way but but more calculated in terms of you know i'm gonna play it more safe or i'm gonna give more thought rather than just kind of diving into this and giving something almost no thought at all um with school my failures in school i would say god i i really wish i took school more seriously i feel like i had it pretty easy with academics when i was younger and i was able to just breeze by them until about you know freshman year of high school and then i started to fail on the later half of freshman year and i went wow things are actually starting to get hard and um i didn't really have a set moral system or anything like that and instead of choosing to study harder or take school more seriously i instead decided to cheat and that led me to just kind of setting myself up for fa failure when i got to college because i feel like even right now i would say i have the academic knowledge of like a educated sophomore in high school and i get into college and holy shit it is hard like i can't cheat i'm doing it all myself and i think i had like a 2.5 gpa like it was not good guys um it was not good at all and i remember dropping out of college after my third semester to pursue business and it didn't really click for me until i had to pursue you know pursuits outside of school and learning from that failure of in school and not taking it seriously that when when life hit me with real things that I had to actually study up on or be more knowledgeable about I came fucking prepared because in those situations I was like this is just this is absurd like this is absurd that I'm treating school like this and 
I didn't think school to be that serious. And then here comes this thing where it's business and there's money on the line and I'm taking it so much more seriously. And with women, man, I, um, <laughs> I have made a fool of myself so many times. So, so, so many times. Not only have I made a fool of myself, and I felt like <laughs> I would learn from it. You know, like I try to talk to a girl and it just goes so abysmally bad that I'm like, oh my God, this is just embarrassing. But I think the funny thing about people is that we think them to kind of just be like, or maybe for me, I just kind of paint people in a, a bad light. You know, I'm thinking, oh, I just absolutely fumbled talking to this girl. She's just going to absolutely clown me. And I mean, sure, maybe a little bit, but but like they would they would always tell me like where I went wrong and how goofy I was being or something. And um, would just would just voice it to me on how I could have done better. And, you know, I do have a girlfriend now, so I would say I would say that's a big W. You know what I mean? But also in how I how I treated them, I greatly regret how I treated human beings when I was in college or in high school. I've talked about this before, but I just treated people as a means to please myself and a means to please them. You know, I treated people like objects. I did not treat them like real human beings because I don't think I really ever, um, you know, before I discovered stoicism or discovered myself for that matter and what my interests were and you know, how actions can actually affect other people. After living with that and discovering stoicism and discovering myself, I sat down and, and it just all started to hit me and uh, on how I had been acting. Because it's weird. I'd, I don't feel like I had much negative repercussions in terms of, I guess, just past personal embarrassment after I've learned how I've been acting was not how real human beings should act. Um... But it's through, it's through that those actions that I learned who I am and I learned what I think of as, you know, just kind of like, I guess, disgusting to myself or, you know, like, oh, that's not me. Why the fuck did I act that way? You know, and I think if I didn't act that way and I didn't experience that version of myself, um, you know, a more less thoughtful and uh, a caring version of myself. I wouldn't be who I am today, you know? I'm sure I might regret it, but I think I, I, there's so many people that say like, you're not supposed to regret anything in your life, but like I do. And like, it's due to that regret that I've been able to grow and become a better person. That life experience and that, you know, like memory bank that led me to, you know, the one day I became a more passionate and caring and respectful individual i was able to look past and properly regret those things not like oh you know i'm gonna curl up in a ball and just die because this but if it wasn't for that i'd probably be acting the same way you know and that's just fucking unacceptable i don't know that's just one example of many in which i am honestly thankful for my failures and my regrets it also made me you know through the treatment of others it made me realize and with my current girlfriend like how special a human life is and how special a relationship can be when you treat it with respect and when you treat that person with respect and treat them as a real person i don't feel like my relationship with my girlfriend would be as fruitful as it was if i wasn't a piece of shit when i was younger you know because when i was a piece of shit when i was younger it's not just other people I was treating that way. I was treating myself that way. And I was able to, through that regret and through that failure, I was able to fully understand the scope of how treating someone like that can feel and what it does to myself and to others. I don't know. I just feel like it has led to such a fruit, fruitful relationship with my girlfriend now. And I absolutely love it. Like, I don't know. I have no regrets. I mean, obviously, I have regrets with how I lived my life, but I don't think I would change anything because the person who I am today, I'm so thankful. But so my social anxiety and dealing with no friends and just, I guess, general anxiety in general, 
you know, just <laughs> I used to get anxiety just going to the store and buying things. And guess what? Big boy can now go to the store and buy whatever the hell he wants because I don't get anxious about it anymore because I feel like um, it's that f it's that fear of failure of, oh, I'm too anxious to do this and I'm fearful that I will fail. But then I go and do it and who cares that I stumble on my words or I, I, I hear the wrong thing or, you know, it's 9 p.m. and I'm 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 buying my dinner um, and I say, have a good rest of your day when, you know, it's a it's it's 9 p.m. I should have said good night <sighs> like that kind of thing. It's not going to kill me. You know, it's not going to kill me. And just through those things, I've been able to create a series of pathways in my brain of like, this is how I proper this is how I should properly act. I have failed so much in my life and not just how I've been talking, but in terms of financial decisions and, and businesses. Um, a little fact about me is, is I've actually never been employed in my life. And I'm not saying like, oh yeah, I never had to. I came from a family with a lot of money. Not at all. I I've just always kind of been more business savvy. Um, I remember in high school, I got all my money from reselling clothing. Like, I remember it was a thing that, I, I mean, like, granted, I'm in high school. I'm not even spending that much money. I'm not traveling or anything. It's just, like, for food and clothes. And I was probably doing, like, I don't know, $500 a week. Or, I mean, obviously, some weeks I'd make, like, zero bucks. But, like, other weeks I'd make, like, 800 And so, it would, like, I feel like it would average out to 400 500 a week. And for a high schooler, like, 1800 to 2000 it's not too bad, you know, for someone who's not doing anything. And then, like, that added up all through high school. Then in college, I was, I had grants for school. Uh, so, I didn't really have to worry about much. And I had leftover money. And then outside of college, because I dropped out, I started a business with some friends. And I got paid from that. Um, but... Um, this is where the, um, the ego comes into play, right? I get out of college and I start this business with some friends. This is my first business venture outside of college and COVID just happened. So I get sent home and like, this is what we're doing and this is what we're working on. Did I make it too short? Holy shit, I made the house too short. That is hilarious. I'm watching a tutorial and I literally made the house too short. This is insane. My God, I made it too short. But this is where the ego comes into play, right? I, um, it's my first business venture and there's no failure. We didn't fail. It was a first off the run success. And it, I'm not talking like millions of dollars. I'm not talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's just like kind of enough to live. The business was doing well, but we had enough people where it wasn't like any of us were getting rich off of this. And, um, and that all goes well and fine, but I eventually leave this business in about 2021 and I, I'm just not liking it. You know, I'm not vibing with what's happening. Um, there's some interesting stuff going on and I just was not, I was not connected with this. And so I end up leaving in 2021. It's now 2024. So it's been two and a half years it was the end of 2021 when i left so yeah two and a half years since then i probably started and failed about four or five businesses and every time i learned something from the last like i i just completely failed and and it just did not of course it phased me and of course i was sad but i have my own dreams and i would be doing myself such a great disservice disservice if i was just to completely stop my last business was doing decent it was doing okay and i definitely could have scaled it more but but then i started youtube i started making youtube videos and it kind of reignited this this fire within me and reminder of how fantastic youtube is and how much of a dream of mine it is and what am i just going to pursue and continue with this kind of more conservative business venture or am i going to be too fearful to fail with youtube and just not even pursue it at all so that's what i decided to do i literally have quit everything i have nothing going on and uh, i just have money saved up to where i can live for a couple years and i'm just completely pursuing youtube as a whole i am not letting this fear of failure affect me and affect my decision on this i'm going full force into youtube and it's just it's just a dream of mine right and i understand this might be a little 
juvenile, a little immature, but I'm completely okay with that. This is something that I have wanted for so long. It's something that I've wanted to pursue for so long that even if I fail completely, I'll at least have learned something and I'll at least have be able to say, you know what? I tried like this was, this has been, it's not, it not was like this has been my dream for so many years that I would be an absolute buffoon to not even at least attempt it. And you know, in the same fashion that I used to cheat on high school stuff and I go into the business world and realize like, no, the world is real and I need to be more prepared. I feel like I am very prepared for YouTube and I'm giving it my all and I'm not just kind of half-assing it. It's something that I'm really going full force into and treating with the respect that it deserves. And that's all from failure. I've all, I've like, I've been able to gather all these thoughts and opinions on this stuff. And it's literally all from failure. I would not be here. I would not be pursuing my dreams. I would not be even considering them as a viable thing without that failure. Also, apologies if this uh, video isn't as profound as the other ones. It's 2.42 in the morning. So I'm, yeah, just wanted to throw that out there. And with YouTube, right, I, I feel like it's almost doing a disservice to me because I got to about 1.6K subs in 20... When was this? this? I think this was 2014. And then I deleted my fucking channel. And then I did it all back again in 2017. I got back up to like 1.8K. And um, I stopped posting. Like, why? Both times, why? I was pursuing this thing and... Why did I stop? Why did I let it become a failure? Because I don't, I hadn't failed yet. I was still pursuing it and I was still in early stages. This wasn't technically a failure. So I'm not entirely sure why I quit. I still don't know. I think uh, life just kind of got to me and I started to experience life more, which is honestly completely fine. Um, I think that was pretty necessary for my character development arc but i've also learned since i would i actually i would consider those failures just in the fact that i had quit and that i'd say that's a, a failure on my part as a uh, human being and creator rather than my opportunity being a failure itself because i definitely could have continued and i definitely could have continued pursuing my goals but i just did not which is a little interesting to me but you know what that it is what it is but i'm here now sure Failure could be on the table here, but I'm not going to let that affect me. And I'm not going to let that debilitate my actions. I'm not going to let that decide if I'm going to do this or not. You know, I'm deciding and I've learned from my failures. And if this is a failure, I will learn from this. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just so thankful that I even have this opportunity and I've been able to go through life and succeed in some areas and and the only reason I was able to succeed in those areas is because I was not too fearful to fail. Like fail, I don't know. Failure is something to learn from. It's not something to be like, oh, I could fail at that. Your life's not going to end if you fail. You know, you're, I know everyone listening to me talk right now, definitely under the age of 30, just based off my statistics. And that is so young. Even if you're 30, that's still so young. It's, like it's so, that is so young to pursue your goal as a human being. You know, like you have aspirations, I have aspirations. Why, why would we not, why would we not pursue them? It just makes no sense. And I understand that, you know, in some cases it's a little different. You can't just get up and quit stuff and pursue it, but because you're fearful of failing and like there's obviously money on the line, you might have a kid and that I understand. But I know for a fact that like most people watching this, that's not the situation, right? And even if it is, even if it is, and you currently have a job and you're using that to to pay for your lifestyle and maybe pay for your responsibilities, that doesn't mean you're not able to pursue your efforts outside of your main your main hustle, your main goal, or sorry, your main job. Like if you have a dream, go fucking pursue it. Please, please, for the love of God. Even if you're so busy during the day, even like, because I know it's a little different, right? I think... If you true, truly want something and you've gotten over that hump of, oh shit, what if I fail? Even if you come home after your nine to five and it's five fucking PM, because it's your dream, right? If you love it, you will still pursue it. Like for YouTube, I, I'm working and I'm editing videos and I forget to eat. 
And eating and nutrition and dieting and going to the gym is like a massive part of my lifestyle. And I've just, some days I completely forget that like, oh shit, I was supposed to go to the gym today. Just because I'm so, I'm so consumed by my aspirations, by my dreams, just because it's such a, like, this is what I want. I want this. And... I think because of that, you know, like even if I'm tired, I will still pursue these things. I, I I think if you truly have a dream, there is a way for you to pursue it. And I think the biggest thing in life for 90% of people is fear and being fearful of failing. It's like a monster and it's like keeping you from pursuing what you want to do. And I completely understand it. I do. I completely understand it. I've been there and I, I mean, hey, sometimes I still am there. Um... Sometimes I am fearful of failing, just in general sometimes, you know, still on a daily basis today. Like, um, I'll, I'll be asked by my friends who are really, you know, proficient at, did I make it too short? Did I make the house too fucking short? Are you serious? No, I didn't. I'm bugging out. Okay, okay, I'm bugging out. I'll just move this over. I'll be asked by my friends who are really proficient at basketball, like, hey, bro, come play. And I will literally say no because I'm fearful of just making a fool of myself. But like, if it truly mattered to me, I would go out and do it. And who fucking cares if I look like a fool? If it like, if hanging out with my friends in that moment mattered so much, I wouldn't care because, because I'd get better, you know, like I'd be playing with them and I'd eventually get better. I don't know. I'm just, this is just something I really wanted to talk about because I really feel like failure and fear is just such a big prominent thing in people's lives even talking to my friends it's such a thing we talk like that comes up right like oh i would do this but like man i got stuff to worry about like what if i fail like dude why don't you do both or you know if it matters that much to you like are you really like inaction is also a decision and if you're fearful of failing, like, aren't you failing yourself by not even trying? Like, there's still failure involved. I think people think that inaction equals you've avoided the failure, but I don't think so. Like, that regret is still going to manifest and, and come into your life one way or another. Like, even if you fail or not, you still will in terms of pursuit and in terms of regret when you're older. You know, I don't know if you can tell, but I just really want people to pursue their dreams. I just really think... And any things in life, anything you're pursuing, if it's a career, if it's a dream, if it's a new skill, if it's a new finding new friends, if it's bettering yourself, if it's giving yourself hope, if it's being kinder your, to yourself because you're so comfortable with being mean to yourself that you don't even want to be kind to you, that you need to fail. And you need to be able to withstand that and you need to push forward because this is being human. This is just the human experience, you know, failing, being fearful, like my last video, being angry. It's just, just how it is. And um, I hope this video maybe made you feel a little less alone because I know that um, when I was younger, the biggest thing was fit with failure was that I was so alone. I was just too afraid of looking weak in front of other people that I just wanted to only look like a success in others' eyes that they would even consider me as a friend. I think that's just me being too harsh on myself when I was younger, just, and thinking that people, you know, were so mean that they wouldn't look past that. Like you can fail in front of people, it's okay. It doesn't matter. But like, how do you get through failure is, I hate to break it to you, but there's no formula. It's just, you gotta get through it. You've literally just gotta push through. After all, what's the alternative? You know, you don't push through the failure and you live with regret. Like I was saying earlier, like inaction is still a choice. It still is. You're still failing in one way. You're failing to pursue your dreams and you're failing to give yourself the time of day in terms of what's truly deep in your heart that you want and wants to escape and wants you to experience. I think I'm liking our little house so far. I'm really, I'm, I'm really loving it. But yeah, I really care about you guys. And um, I hope that tomorrow, the day after you watch this video or even after you watch this video, I hope that someone loves you. I hope that someone shows you some love. And uh, in the words of Theo Vaughn, I hope that person is you. I hope you show yourself some love. Um, reach out to an old friend, tell me you miss them. Reach out to a current friend, tell me you want to hang out. I look like a little light bulb right now. Reach out to your parents, tell them you love them. Okay? Uh, here's a little video before I send you guys off, since this is the little ritual that we have going on. Um, I appreciate you. I love you.
Hey guys, I'll see you later. Please have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.